first off, you know, I want to, you know, thank Mr. Steinbrenner and the Steinbrenner family and the whole Yankees organization for, uh, you know, believing in me, you know, the past six years and, you know, all the way back to 2013, you know, believing in, in my ability, uh, you know, a little kid out of Fresno State, you know, bring to the, to the Big Apple. It's, you know, it was a, a blessing and an honor and, you know, getting a chance to continue, you know, something the Yankees, you know, are so big on, which is legacy, you know, continue, you get a chance to continue my legacy here in pinstripes, you know, in the, you know, best city in the world, the best baseball city in the front of the best fans. This is um, an incredible honor. And, um, you know, how what you just, just said about, you know, getting a chance to be the captain of the Yankees now, um, <laughs> that goes without saying what an honor that is. You know, I look back at the list of, you know, Thurman Munson, Lou Gehrig, uh, Ron Guidry, you know, Willie Randolph, Derek Jeter, Don Mattingly. You know, that's, that's that's a pretty good list right there. You know, not only great baseball players, uh, but great ambassadors of the game and great ambassadors of the New York Yankees. You know, how they pride themselves on the field day in and day out, how they, you know, take pride in what they do off the field to represent this organization and represent these pinstripes, man. This is... This is an incredible honor that, you know, I don't take lightly. And, um, you know, I'm going to continue to try to be, you know, the same leader that I've been, you know, the past six years, uh, continue to lead by example. And you know, I know there's probably going to be a couple more responsibilities with this, but, you know, I'm here to embrace every single obstacle and, you know, continue to lead this team and lead this city to, to not one, but, you know, multiple championships down the road. So uh, you know, I just want to say, you know, thank you to everybody. My wife, Samantha, um, my family for being here, Paige, David, Jeremy, everybody. Um, and nice surprise, too, with, with Derek and Willie, all you guys showing up, man. This, uh, that, that means a lot, so just thank you guys. Yeah, it was it was 3 in the morning. I was back in California. I was, you know, on the phone with Hal. Uh, he shot me a message earlier about, you know, kind of what, <laughs> what's the holdup? You know, what's what's it going to take to, you know, get this to the finish line? So we, we hopped on a quick call, and I knew he was, he was busy, and, you know, he said, it doesn't matter the time, you know, give me a call. And, um, you know, we, we worked some things out. And, and then at the very end, he, he spoke about, you know, Thurman Munson was his favorite player and, you know, how important. And Willie. And, and Willie. There we go. Just how important uh, the captain and, and that honor is to not only him and his family, but the, the team and this organization. And, you know, kind of presented it with me. And it was – I was <laughs> – kind of lost the words. I don't think I said anything for, it felt like five minutes, but it was probably only a couple seconds, but I was just pretty taken back because that is, you know, such an incredible honor. Like I said, you look back on this list of individuals who've, who've had this title. It's, it, it's, it's such an honor. And I'm, you know, just really blessed to, you know, be a part of this organization again for nine more years and finish my career here. It sounded like the other teams never really had a shot at you. It was predestined to be the Yankees from the get-go. Is that correct? Yeah, I think, like I said, in my heart, I knew where I wanted to be. But I think going through this process was a valuable lesson, and you know, it's a valuable to, to, tool to go through and just see what you know other organizations are about. Because I feel like you know maybe I might have kicked myself if I didn't go through the process. You know, once we got here, and um, I think going through it, it kind of helped me eventually come to a better answer and a clearer answer, which is you know I belong in New York. So, um, you know, it was. <laughs> A tough situation going through free agency, you know, talking with other teams and voicing your opinion, hearing what they got to say. But like I said, ultimately, I think it just gave me a clear answer that I belong here in pinstripes and I need to finish my career here in New York.